Welcome to a War Thunder video. Today we'll be uh, looking at this recent game I had on Battle Royale, King of the Hill. And basically it's kind of like, um, what do you call them? A game where everyone versus everyone and the aim of the game is to be the last one to stay alive as the zone gets smaller and smaller. So, as you can see I've picked the SCRV81 for this uh, game. Because you're allowed tanks from BR6 with BR7 and I thought SCRV, it's like compared to other tanks like that BR is quite good. So it has a stabilizer which is key, APDS which can't go through everything but it's good. It's armor is decent as it's survivability. It has obviously those, um, the, what do you call them? The ATGMs, sorry it's in the morning so I forgot but it's the ATGMs. They are also quite good as well. So as you can see we spawned in. Um, in a random position and what we're doing now is we just uh, after we obviously get to battle we are just simply waiting around for 30 seconds to actually get into the battle and we're in the map uh, advance of the Rhine which I believe is Cologne in Germany but pretty sure it is anyway and so in general this map is not really like I mean I don't know I like the map but it's in terms of what the SDRB can do, it's kind of a bit difficult just because there's so many corners, etc., that you really need to anticipate how you can turn into. And remember, the game before this, I was killed by basically a camper. So, you know, it's kind of difficult. You have pretty, like, not the greatest um, turret rotation. And also, what I'm also doing is looking at the different tanks that are available or as in that people have taken out. So I immediately see the T95 and the Tortoise, which I thought, okay, that might be a shout, you know. Um, but, however, of course, um, my tank, the PBS, and especially the ATGMs, can go straight through them. So my tactic for today is basically go around the outskirts of the map, just so then I have fewer places to look at, and also listen around for any enemies uh, so I can kill them. So I already heard there's some services over here, Things of Vickers and BT, and that one I do not really want to fight because it has the APDS. I think it's like a five second reload stabilizer. Just things I don't really want to fight, you know. And so, what I do is I basically search around anyway for him because if I can sneak up to him, I know where it is, then uh, I have the advantage. And that isn't really a tank that I want to fight um, when he sneaks up on me, anyways. So what I'm doing here, I thought I heard an engine noise so I stopped and couldn't really hear anything, it was my engine noise I saw and so I just continued going. And all this time I can hear shooting. I thought to myself, the path I'm taking, if you look at the map, would literally lead me right back into the zone. So I'm gonna turn around and go a different way. So I turned around and I am going now a different way. And all this time I'm just trying to keep scanning around make sure there's anyone, like check if there's anyone and uh, essentially another tank I spotted was the T92 which is that small flat tank and in this environment it would be perfect to just camp in one of those corners here and as soon as the tank goes past, boom, and then that's it <coughs> but I didn't see any so far so I'm just following around this main road this is the ideal situation for the SCRV because um, if it can uh, a tank comes coming around the corner, you have the saber libel and you can easily shoot them. And it's nice long straight and ABDS front as well in these environments. And as you can see, the T95 and the Tortoise, whilst they are heavily armored, they're very, very slow, so they can't get out of the soon. So, what you want is a reasonably fast tank. Not too fast like the IU251 because then you just got to get shot really easily. But Fast with good armament, good armor, and so on and so forth. And the SCRV does that perfectly. So as you can see, I basically went towards the other edge of the map, and this is where I'll be chilling from now on. And all this time, I'm just trying to think, okay, where's the enemy going to be? So the red zones are pushing the enemy out, and so I don't really want to go into them too much. And I'm now myself also in the red zone, but I have loads of time to get out, so I do. Get in my suit because this is like the perfect chance or perfect position for an enemy. 
so just look around, see what's happening. Nope, okay, anyone here? Okay, go to the left, no. Alright. And here I think, okay, I'm going to. I mean, I can hear loads of shooting, but I can't see anything. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and find like, a position where I can sit down and camp. And I know you, I just said, you know, I don't like camping loads, it's kind of passive behavior. But I thought, okay, I'm not going to go now barreling in. I could, I've got a position here. Just keep going, looking down this way. And so I'll just sit down. And also, the ATGMs, they take, they like, they're arranged. So if the enemy tank is right in front of me, I can't get him. So at this position, I look into uh, towards where A usually is. And also into the gardens. And I just see a tank and it just goes away. And I think, okay. Alright, this is kind of annoying because now I have a tank which is coming close to me and you could potentially have seen me and I'm not one for passive gameplay so off I trot and that's why, why I don't like camping vehicles etc I'm not that kind of player so I look around do I see anything nah I'm searching for that guy who just evaded me but I didn't see anyone so just come around this corner I'm still in a good protected position here yeah. The enemy can only get me from a few angles. Looking around. No. Okay. Alright then. So I'll just stay here it's a bit longer then. And also the armor at that position is good. So I see it's T95. And that T90, sorry, T92. And T92, there are only a few tanks left. And that is one tank I do not want to have here. So I wait for him to go up. Do that thing. And of course, I have a really bad shot because trash. And then I think, okay, okay again, and get his cannon breaching cannon barrel. Now it's basically free real estate, you know. I uh, like he is now dead. There's, there's nothing he can do. So I shoot him again. Command the engines to so fire. So his repair goes down. He can't repair his barrel and breach. Shoot him again. And at this point, I think uh, there's no point in actually trying to place shells, getting him. He's dead. Because they can forever to repair, he can't shoot me back. I might just leave him in the zone and he can die. So I'll go around, just keep in search of enemies. I think at this point I hear an engine noise. Yeah, I hear the engine noise. I think okay, that's kind of bad. There's another tank. Where's the tank? So stop. Ooh, can't hear anything. Okay. Let's see. Then it's a zone, so I thought, okay, yeah, I'm going to move as of that tank. So I go towards where the tank is, or where the tank, I heard the tank. And then I look around. No, nothing. No. So the engine, oh, there's a T44. Now, T44 doesn't have a uh, stabilizer, so I just hit him. And then go again, and I get the kill. And I also get the kill on the T92. You either j out or die from the zone. So I'm now kind of calm, but I see the artillery in the final position, and that's kind of bad, you know. And I'm running out of time, getting away from my own position. So I simply just try and drive out, follow the streets, because in the street map or city map, you need to follow the streets. You can't just go as crow flies away from uh, the area. So I'm now in the final position, our final square, and I check who's around me nope no one is there even anyone left oh yeah there's one guy left okay M46 okay where's the M46 M46 has the heat vest so my armor is more at this advantage look around where is he where is he here an engine and where is he oh he's there nice and he's pointing right at where I need to go so I pop smoke and I reverse back because basically I want to kind of find another angle. The SCRV obviously has a smoke, two smoke types, smoke shells and smoke shells, you know, one that can fire and the other one that can fire. I'm trying to get an uh, angle on him but I can't find him. So I'm like okay, I'll wait for the smoke to dissipate and the smoke dissipates. Try and look behind me to see if there's like an area I can go around to flank. Well, the smoke goes and I just see him and bang straight in the town beach. I think okay, that's the end of the game. And then I died. Even though it said that I won. 
And I was very confused and very angry because I literally just won the game and apparently I didn't. So... Hmm. Well, you know what this is? It says, it says that even though I don't play tanks much, I am still the best tank player in the game. Um, I deserve all the accolades, you know, I'm the best. But this is really frustrating to have literally, I mean, it says, uh, how do you even win this game? This is the second time it happened to me. As in, before I also won the game, as in, got the final kill, there was no one else, I was just standing there, and then some artillery shot got me. But at this point, what even killed me? So, it is confusing, but thank you anyway for watching. Um, hope to see new videos coming out soon, and goodbye.